Now, one of the most notable success stories in the past, say, 20 years in the micro and indie space of watchmaking has to be Christopher Ward, a UK-based brand that has developed a reputation of delivering no-nonsense and well-made timepieces at competitive prices. However, until recently, I think many would agree that to call their designs trailblazing would be a stretch. Well, that was until their latest release of a watch known as the Bell Canto, a watch with a chiming mechanism that comes in at the retail price less than a Tudor Black Bay. So in other words, this one's kind of a game changer. And in this video, we're going to take a closer look at it. Let's jump in. So before we jump into this video and given the more daring design of this Bel Canto, I want to strongly recommend checking out our unique watches article down in the description below. This article has a comprehensive list of watches that are doing some truly revolutionary things in a variety of pockets within the industry. The list includes well over 20 leading examples, including a watch like the Armstrong Resonance. It's one of the only watches in the world successfully pulling off the concept of resonance, specifically in its case, having two opposing balance wheels connected by a clutch spring to allow them to to come in perfect harmony after a period of time. If you like what you're hearing there, as well as what you're gonna probably see here with the Bel Canto, I recommend checking it out. Link will be in the description down below. So where most brands in the industry count their history in centuries, Christopher Ward, on the other hand, is a nascent brand that was founded back in 2004. Since their start, they have wasted no time in continuing to elevate the brand, bringing in their own movement manufacturing arm known as Synergies Horlogers, developing their own manufacturer calibers, unique complications, all while keeping the prices of their watches relatively approachable. And this is all well and good, but similar to the day Nirvana dropped a little song known as Smells Like Teen Spirit, Spirit that catapulted them to superstardom almost overnight, the Bel Canto in its own contained way has followed in a similar fashion, completely changing how I and others look at the brand immediately. Now this might be where some of you might be saying, okay, Teddy, let's cool it with the hyperbolic statements. This can't be that special, can it? And to that question, I will simply say there currently is no other chiming watch on the market that I am aware of that can both rival this watch at its price while exhibiting the level of ingenuity present. Now, specifically, this watch is a sonnerie au passage, a complication type that chimes once at the top of every changing hour. The genesis of this piece began following a thought from the brand's technical director, Frank Stelzer, when he had a hunch that they could adapt their jump hour module and could have some viability into a chiming design. Since the complication of a jump hour also requires the rapid change at the top of every hour, the theory conceptually made a lot of sense. But as is the case with most solutions in watchmaking, it was easier said than done. The now completed project you have before you utilizes a movement known as the FS01 and required 60 additional parts on the module plate in order to work properly off the SW200 vase. Breaking down the watch into smaller parts to better appreciate its approach, along the outside of the dial, we have a semi-encircling gong that enables the chime following the strike from the hammer. Across the top half of the dial is the elevated 12-hour time display suspended by two bridges, exposing the motion works below. The bridges at the bottom of the dial are secured with polished screws, with one bridge working in tandem with the isolated turret-like wheel on the opposing dial side that locks and unlocks the hammer in active or inactive positions. While the other mirroring bridge at six showcases the red indicator that will display whether the chiming function is enabled with the up position with the squiggle script showing it is on with the down position indicating off, a function that can be easily manipulated by way of the pusher on the outside of the case. To hear it, it is as easy as in ensuring the chime is active. And with the rotation of the hand, you will notice a small lever that interacts with the snail affixed to the works of the hand seen through the open aperture of the dial that will lift the lever as it rotates and will drop once the gear position equals 12 o'clock alignment of the minute hand, rapidly dropping and in turn letting the hammer strike the gong from its fully torqued position. Now this feat of simply operating effectively is enough to make this watch special. However, the finishing of the architecture of this piece is also quite 
quite exceptional. In fact, to produce this watch, Christopher Ward employed the help of Armin Strom, a highly regarded Swiss independent brand who has been making great strides as of late, while also being no stranger to this channel. And Chrononode, a leading Swiss movement firm that has worked with the likes of MBNF on projects such as their legacy machine. Each bridge and component on display above the sunray blue backdrop looks finished to a degree beyond the expected standard. The gong is high polished along with each screw head. The bridges all feature chamfering on their interior and exterior edges. And even the cantilevered hour indices are faceted containing superluminova inside to match the hands that they encircle. The case of the bell canto also leaves very little to be desired as it is made of grade five titanium and surprised me greatly when I grabbed this one and put it on the wrist for the first time as it's only weighing 64 grams in this blue leather strap configuration. It presents mostly brushed surfaces, a neatly designed and themed case back, small hits of polishing on the bezel edge with beveling on the top and bottom of the case. And keep in mind again, this is titanium. Despite its ambitious attempts, the case also doesn't lose the plot, remembering that this this still needs to wear well like a watch. As it comes in with a 41 millimeter diameter, a 13 millimeter thickness, and a lug to lug of 48 millimeters, making this one wear slightly smaller than the case size indicates. But now to conclude here, I wanna share some of my personal thoughts on this Christopher Ward, because I do think it is very special. Now, there's a lot of times where I get in front of camera here, and I don't wanna say I fake getting excited at times, but there's a lot of things you've seen before, and it's not necessarily anything new. So when you can get in front of the camera and then actually talk about something that is new and exciting and doing something different in the industry, that's always a little bit more refreshing and I have a bit more of a pep in my step. Now, in general, Christopher Ward, is this a brand that people you know, that were high-end collectors had a, you know, thought about? Absolutely not. Could some people maybe hate on the Salita base if they really wanted to? Sure, 30 meters of water resistance. Sure, I guess, if you wanted to kind of stretch. But across the board, I think this is ingenuity at its finest and to the highest degree that I have seen in quite some time in watchmaking. And the reason I say that too is just because of where this sits in the market. Of course, it's great to push things forward and really do something daring at these very high end price tiers, but to do it for less than the price of a Tudor Black Bay and still make something that's compelling, a chiming watch, and looking at how they were able to work around creating this. There's a designer from the brand that mentioned that if they knew what they were getting themselves into, both from a cost and time standpoint, when they began this undertaking, they probably would not have done it at all. But I'm glad they did, because not only did this watch allow more people to look at a brand like Christopher Ward, and it really kind of redefined what's possible in many ways in this price segment. The case is well done, the components and how they are finished, also well done, and the fact that you can get this complication in this price range is simply phenomenal. I'm just going to close with this general concept because I think there's a lot of similarities here, and I hope this is the general path that you know watch brands and just people in the watch industry can look at. But you think about Roger Bannister. He was someone that ran a under four minute mile in 1953. And at the time leading up to that, many people thought running a mile under four minutes was physically impossible. He did it, and then to follow there, you saw many people doing it. So it almost reprogrammed how people thought about going after this level of achievement. And since he first ran under four minute mile in 1953, there now have been over 1600 athletes that have ran a sub four minute mile. I just share that little anecdote because I think in many ways, this watch kind of changed the game. And I think allows us now to rethink what is potentially possible from a watchmaking perspective in this. Sure, it's not gonna always be easy, but when you can have some will and some creativity, I think some great things can happen. And I really just wanna give major props to Christopher Ward. And even though this is not my style of watch, I almost want to buy one of these myself just because I do believe that you wanna put your money behind brands that are pushing things forward and reward where hard work is clearly happening. And that is absolutely what's happened here with this Christopher Ward. I'm a fan and I hope this is a good sign for what is to come and what is possible in this price range in the future. But all right guys, that is my take looking at this Christopher Ward Bel Canto. I first heard about this watch uh, back at the end of last year. A lot of different channels I know covered it. Watch Finder was one of the early uh, just kind of champions of this piece and all well-deserved. I mean, this watch, what it's doing, there's a reason why there are high horology collectors talking about this watch. It's because it did do something very unique and I hope we see that exercise more from brands. What do you think of this watch? Did you like this video as well? Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you did. Uh, I'd love to see some conversation down below about this Bel Canto because it really is in many ways uh, one of the interesting head-turning watches 
in this price segment in quite some time. Also definitely check out teddybaldestar.com, full authorized dealer of 30 brands, quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer support, and a full factor warranty for all the products that we offer. How we're able to fund these productions is through selling watches on our site. The brands don't pay us to make videos. So this is really how we're able to make it all happen. So really would appreciate your business. I know you can buy a watch anywhere, uh, but if you are looking for a watch, we'd love to have your business. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I'll see you all very soon.